Our next stop, the rolling hills of Kentucky. We all know how important recycling is to protecting our environment and keeping trash out of our landfills. But the circular economy is especially evident here in Hebron, Kentucky, where waste materials has found new life and literally paving the road to the future, as you're about to see. Today, our world cities generate well over 1 billion tons of waste each year. Over 75% of that waste stream is recyclable. But we only recycle about a third of that, which means a vast majority ends up in our nation's landfills. There's 258 million tons of garbage hits the U.S. landfills annually. There's such a need for solution of these products that it's going to take a lot of companies to come together, find value out of these products that go to the landfill, and keep them out of the landfill for the generations to come. Used printer ink and toner cartridges are especially detrimental to our environment. But if recycled, they can have an even more valuable afterlife. If ink and toner cartridges end up in landfills, we know that it will take thousands of years for these to decompose. So if the product does not end up in landfill, it is important to be able to find the value that is still left in these empty ink and toner cartridges. Value can be found in their plastics, value can be found in the metals that are in these cartridges, and even the ink and toner that can come out of these empty cartridges. There are ways to reuse these and put these back into the circular economy. In effect, it means closing the life cycle loop of this challenging waste product by giving it a new sustainable second life as a life that can even be reused to become asphalt in actually paving our nation's highways. One company excels in finding such unique solutions, appropriately called Close the Loop. Close the Loop was founded on the brand promise of zero waste to landfill. And that brand promise has driven an enormous amount of innovation over the years, and we continue to innovate to get these products into the circular economy and to get the raw materials that they're made from back into a circular economy. With operations in Australia, Europe and the US, Close the Loop today is a key provider in finding take-back solutions for many of the global print and imaging manufacturers, including Xerox, Staples, Kyocera, Sharp and Toshiba. For instance, here in Hebron, Kentucky, ink and toner cartridges from across the country are recovered and recycled at its giant automated state-of-the-art facility. This is huge. Tell us about this facility. We're in a 220,000 square foot facility. We have 150 associates here. Uh, we bring in about 20 to 30,000 packages daily that we open up and disposition for our partners. Some of them end up here in, in our recycling line. We believe this is the largest cartridge recycling line in the world. Uh, it, it's capable of handling two to three ton an hour of cartridges. Basically it takes a cartridge that then we have to break up and break it down into its base components. Uh, toner, metal, plastic. At that point, we, then we find reuse applications for those commodities. We recovered 39 million pounds last year. Uh, if you look at the average person, produces about 1,600 pounds of trash per person. Uh, there's 150 associates here. We, we feel like we're doing our part, but this is just the beginning. Close the Loop provides solutions for our customers. Our customers generally make products. We help them design those products for the end of life collect the products, and then recover the valuable resources to be reused again in new products. For example, for customers like Lexmark, Close the Loop helped them find a unique new use for its old ink and toner cartridges as a key ingredient in making toner pave asphalt. In fact, Lexmark's entire parking lot here in Lexington, Kentucky has been paved with old recycled imaging material. Toner cartridges like these, which would otherwise have gone straight to a landfill. Originally toner, you would landfill the toner, then waste to energy, and now with the toner pave solution, you're moving up the sustainability hierarchy. You're going to a much more uh, positive solution to lowering the footprint and actually creating a product that's gonna last a long time. Close the Loop has also partnered with the Downer Group in Australia to use recycled toner cartridges, plastic, and glass to produce a new asphalt product called Toner Plaz. 
In fact, this has resulted in the first highway in the world actually built from recycled trash near Melbourne, Australia. So for every kilometre of road laid, there's 530,000 plastic bags, there's 168,000 glass bottles, and there's toner from 12,500 printer cartridges. Closer Loop has created such an innovative new product like Tonerplaz that's taking problematic waste streams and turning them into a value-added product to be able to use in road constructions. The performance of the road is enhanced by up to 65%, so it's a win-win. It's a win for our partners and it's a win for the environment. We help our customers and our partners really find value in their return programs and their sustainability programs. We take pride in helping them and finding value in these recovered items. So we do like to say that we are paving the way for the future of sustainability. A road to the future made from yesterday's trash, thanks to a global steward. That's helping the world find treasure in what used to be unwanted trash. <laughs>